So, you know, Kat Dennings, your girlfriend, yes. was here not too long she ago. Was. Saying that uh, you're both nerds. Yes, very true. Is that okay that she uh, outed you as nerds? Yes, I think that was outed long ago. Really? I feel like, yes, that, that's, that's been out there since at least sixth grade, I feel like, yeah. Is that when um, you bonded over, your nerdism? Well, yeah, I mean, she's... Oh, no. um, she is uh, such, such a brilliant and funny person. Humor is such a huge thing for me, and so, yes. um, you know, the fact that we, you know, could talk about Monty Python and all sorts of weird other things, it was yeah. like, okay, yeah, we're on the same. Place. Yeah, you're a cute couple. Thank you. You're a cute couple. Thank you. um, and you just sang the national anthem at the Kentucky Derby. I did. Was, was that uh, nerve wracking or? It, very nerve wracking. And you feel like you've really got it during the sound check because the place is empty and it's eight in the morning and everybody knows the national anthem. You say, I could say, sing it in my sleep. But then all of a sudden they had a record crowd of 180,000 people. Yeah, it's great, empty, it's one beautiful. But that's what you're looking at when you finally have to sing it. And they're like, okay, three, two, one, and you're on. And all of a sudden you're going, is it gleaming or streaming? And it's, it plays tricks on you. So I had to like do things to try and remember the words, even though I knew I knew them. When you're out there and the pressure's on, if you mess up the national anthem, like you're toast on Twitter for the yes. next week. I would think, because you're so used to touring and being in front of large crowds that you wouldn't get flustered. And actually you're going on tour I am. right now, right? Yes, yeah, just about to start in a, in a few months. And uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, a different, it's a different thing, wow. you know? I, and, I, and I love touring, it's the reason why um, I record basically is yeah. to get out and perform in front of live audiences. But um, there are certain places, you know, like the national anthem, where it's such an honor that, yeah. that you're being asked to do it that that it becomes bigger than a performance. You you really just want to do it well. Well, it's fun. Also, you get to a certain level where you're used to so many things not phasing you that it's fun to be in a situation that to be you scared get, again. You get, yeah, yeah, to be scared. To find those Speaking things. Speaking of yeah. scared, I yeah. was going to ask you about you're on the cover of your CD. <laughs> I think you look a little scared. Do I? Um, well, there's yeah. a reason. There's a kind of a reason. I mean, a reason you for kind that. of are looking up they, like. We were picking photos, and, and everybody at the label was like, "Oh yeah, you look kind of edgy, and and like like you're like you're about to get into a fight or something." I'm like, that's that good? They're like, "Yeah, edgy, masculine. Yeah, it's good." And the, that photo was taken uh, in downtown Los Angeles, and um, and we were out on the street. It was the end of the shoot. It was about midnight. And there was somebody who was just screaming obscenities at us. They were just down. What are you guys doing over there? And I went, what the? And that's the shot. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, Be because it really does look like you're scared. I'm I basically mean, going, yeah. uh, we, ah! Ah! <laughs> That's the shot. That's the shot. <laughs> you looked away at the wrong moment, like literally just. Okay. For a minute there, I turned this way and I, I heard know. that voice and I thought, wow, Ellen has quite the growl. 